knowledge belongs to all of humanity. And I think we've got to get over this. The, the issue is that, uh, that education is expensive. Education people are making money from. And I think once we can get to the point of recognizing that, that meaning and fulfillment is the outcome of education and life, um, we've got to get past how do we, and how do we get through that? That's the, big, that's the bigger question around assessment because there's a lot of companies making a lot of money out of this. And then I put that out on the table and just say that's really what's stopping it. One of the main benefits of us looking at assessments for sale is that it becomes a knowledge sharing mechanism. And I think that's that's maybe one of the biggest challenges is that, especially within the sale area, that there are so many initiatives around the world and knowledge sharing among them is, is very difficult. And so if we start to have a, an agenda of assessment, then we also will have sort of a facilitated pathway towards knowledge sharing on a global scale. Assessment can really be the way in which we speak the same language. There is this huge discussion about skills and skills of the future. And that's not something that is just sort of specific to the pandemic. That's not something that's going away now. It may be amplified. It may give us a new context to discuss this. But I think that's an agenda that, that is here to stay. And, and I just think we have to be in it for the long haul and, and, and taking that discussion. I get very concerned about, about the knowledge sharing. Standards-based education has a lot of limitations and challenges to it, a lot that rub actually with competency-based and with SEL work. Creating a collaborative, a way to make those accessible, they can and should be the spine of any good assessment, and they should be related. And this was a lot of the work uh, I was doing at MIT was looking at this disconnect where we build these great assessment models, and then none of that model gets shared with people building curriculum or doing other assessment work in schools. They should all be shared, <laughs> and they all should be aligned. And so that's a lot of my fear is that we're not doing that. So I hope that this, the work that we're seeing right now is setting the foundation for us to move in that direction. You might have a circle of success that might be your academic results. You might have a circle of success around your social and emotional learning results. You might have a circle of success about your family. Often we have those circles of success stay very separate and we don't pull them together and, and one gets much more weight than the other. So what I, I, I sort of talk a lot about, how do we actually make sure that everybody knows they each carry a huge amount of weight for all of us and that when we synthesize that all together, that makes us that whole person. So for me, it's really critical that we teach children that we are more than the sum of one of those things. We are the sum of all of those things. My hope is that, you know, we can at least begin to put some tools into the parents' and children's hands, particularly around SEL. It becomes a leverage point for us to also continue that change inside schools and education systems.